All right then, and we're back to Brutal Mode EX Plus. So, we're on to the roof levels 5-1, so let's just get into the game, shall we? Anyway, let's just do this. Level 5-1 is dangerous, because we have absolutely zero roof cleaners nor flower pots, so we are going to have to be insanely careful to which start. To the start of the level, I mean. So we are going to be using the cat cabbage pole planter strategy for offense, and then a just a bunch of instant kills, installing plants. And walnut probably to block off the zombies. Yeah, should be fine. This setup should be fine. I know this looks really stupid, but that's just how it is. So we have a lot of- we have two early game instant kills, two late game instant kills, cabbage pole plant turn to double its damage, and then a bunch of stolen plants. We're just going to be getting our cabbage poles in. And now plan turn to double the damage. Should be completely fine. And yeah, this shouldn't be a very difficult level, assuming we got a good start, which we did, so that's good. Just going to kill that bungee zombie immediately. And now we can just start setting up multiple cabbage bolts. And just killing letterheads with instant kills, that is the... That is the rest of the plan. No, no, don't eat that flower pot. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Get that zombie out of here with Jalapeno. Jalapeno is the only instant kill that, that can actually be very effective this level. There we go, Squash getting insane value. As per usual, Squash is amazing. Squash is an insanely good plant. Easy, look at that, just squash getting insane value, as per usual. Now we have two cabbage pulls in every row, should be pretty difficult to lose this level. Plant turn as always just being completely busted, and basically making our cabbage pulls into melon pulls without splash, which is, yeah, pretty crazy. Wow, ha ha! That is one of the funniest things I've ever seen, god damn. That is funny. 
It just stole my jalapeno. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just pretty funny. But that can happen. That's why we need to be pretty careful about that. But anyway, this should be a pretty easy win. This should be a pretty easy win. And we got the flower pot. Now we will go to the, the shop and immediately buy the roof cleaner. Anything else that we could buy? Nah, not really. Alright. We are going to buy the roof cleaners because they are very important, obviously, to this run so that we don't lose. And we got pole vaulting zombie and bucket heads and all that good stuff. So what we're going to be doing, obviously, is we're going to do the same strategy but with Tolna. And obviously flower pot. And we're going to be bringing, of course, a wide variety of insta-kills. Jalapeno is not necessary this time. Because, well, we just don't really need jalapeno. Actually, I think jalapeno is going to be better because this zombie, only jalapeno can work against it. So, yeah. And as you can see, this we only have three flower pots to start with, which is pretty bad. As last time we had a bunch more. So that is pretty bad. But I'm sure that we can still beat this level. And I lost. I lost on an easy level. What should have been an easy level? 5-2. I actually lost. I actually lost. It's pretty pathetic. But I did. But I lost for primarily three main reasons. One, insanely unlucky. Two, it being fairly late in the evening and me being tired at this point. And three, me making an extremely dumb mistake with the jalapeno. Just see it all here, and then I'll show the full winning attempt on the next day. Damn, Squash just getting insane value, as per usual. I mean, that is ridiculous value. Bruh! What kind of- okay! I'm not sure if we can come back and win this game anymore. I don't think it's possible. I'm not even sure if it's possible to win anymore. No, 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 are you kidding me? No way, man. <sighs> Alright, it's the next day. I don't know. I just got so fucking mad. I started to rage like literally because I missed the jalapeno, bruh. By accident. I missed the jalapeno. For real, man. And also the jack-in-the-box zombie just I don't know. I literally made so many dumb mistakes that attempt. That attempt was so retarded. It was actually one of the stupidest attempts ever. It was insanely dumb. That attempt was just... <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing. I just abruptly ended the recording. Well, let's try again. Let's hope that first of all, one, I'm not stupid and place the jalapeno in the correct lane for me to which to survive. And, you know, maybe I can then actually beat this level. That would be nice. Instead of acting like an absolute flippin' moron. Okay, Cabbage Pole, you better kill that, otherwise you are a complete disgrace to everyone.
<sighs> Letterheads as always just being complete cancer in the early game, love to see it. Thank you. Yes, all right, perfect. My reaction time is actually decent now. Hopefully I don't get insanely unlucky to the point where I'm, uh, I have to deal with, you know, Jack in the, in the bog zombies. And, alright, I got two out of three of the correct lanes. That's nice. Are you kidding me? Okay, bro, that's so retarded for real, man. Are you serious? You don't frick you. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Get freaking wrecked. Get freaking wrecked. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That's cringe, man. That is so cringe. That zombie's cringe, for real. And I hate cringe stuff. I just hate cringe stuff. I just extremely hate cringe stuff, and, and I placed the tall nut in the wrong lane. Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. It's gonna have to do for now. It's gonna have to do. Easy, let's go, easy. Not not even difficult. Not even difficult. Nobody even cares. Okay, no 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 no. That's enough. Stop it. Okay, thank you. Copium, let's go. Okay, really? We got the most one of the most annoying zombies in the game right here. How much damage does it take, man? This is so annoying. Okay, this is a Valley Jalapeno though. It kills a lot of stuff. That's good. The fireballs aren't actually that good as I thought. They're really not that good. Alright. Hopefully, if we don't get the most horrendous luck in the world, we should actually be able to beat this level. No, 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 no. Okay, what? Well, that's pretty annoying, but what are we gonna do? Maybe I don't care. I, I just want symmetry. That was probably stupid to waste time on that, but eh, it's fine. It is just fine. Okay, can the zombie just die already, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we should be able to win this time. There are no... See? Look at that, when your entire defense doesn't get blown... 
in Bungie Jack in the Box Zombie doesn't get blown up, I mean, by Jack in the Box... But I can't speak. By Bungie Jack in the Box Zombies, you can actually beat the level. And when you don't miss your jalapeno lane. Okay, don't be... Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. I don't care. Steal that cabbage bowl. Go ahead, Bungie Zombie. All right. No, 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 now we got a target zombie. I confuse Bungie and target zombie sometimes, but uh, you know, it's, it's fine. My god, there are so many pole vault things. There are so many pole vault things on these, dude. This is crazy. Cabbage Pole is doing pretty good, though. I mean, this defense is great, man. This defense is really damn good. Tona healing itself is just the best thing, because that means that you basically never... Okay, no... Okay, yoink, easy, let's go, not even difficult. Wow, two imps, that, that's very threatening, that is very, very, very threatening. Look how much of a difference it makes, if, ja if Bungie Jack in the Box zombies just bl don't blow up your defense. It's literally the most, probably the most unfair zombie in this game, because every other zombie you can actually deal with and react to that, it just drops a Jack in the Box zombie, and it does, it immediately explodes. It immediately explodes. I mean, that is literally not fair whatsoever. That is completely unfair. That is so unfair beyond words. I mean, it just is. Lol, it's a football zombie. Look at that, guys. It's football zombie. Football zombie so difficult to deal with. It sometimes can be when you don't have instant kills. That time I just did. Not yeah. We have not even difficult. See, once you actually have good luck, some most of the levels aren't even that bad in this game. Most of the levels are not that bad. Okay, finally. Alright, we got the kernel pull. Pretty good. We got the kernel pull. Ah, we got shovel zombies. That's just wonderful. So we're actually going to be doing a kernel pull setup with probably these zombies. I'm oh, sorry, these plants, I think. Should I include Tom? Tom, that's actually pretty useful, so I'm actually gonna use- Oh yeah, we don't have coffee bean yet. I can't use magnetrum. Lull. Anyway, I think just full insta-kill should be fine against this because, you know, defensive plants are kind of useless. So yeah, we're just going to be bringing out a lot of instant kills and then kernel pull. And then we only have three columns of flower pots that are pre-planted, so we're going to have to be pretty smart about that. We're relying very heavily on instant kills, but that's the game for you. The early game is impossible to defend without... I mean, sorry, with, with, yeah, with that insta-kills and with just purely attacking plants. The early game is completely impossible to defend. Maybe that was stupid for pre-planting that squash. I actually know it's not. It'll take the zombie literally years to get there. The reason why I pre-planted is so that the... Is so that... It can, it has time to... Basically, I can use it again, so that its cooldown doesn't really matter. Because in the early game, zombies come really slowly. So as you can see, now I can pre-plant another squash. And then immediately be able to react to that cone head. Now, I'm probably going to have to use a kernel pull yet yeah, for this zombie. Kernel pull, it really depends on luck. Okay, there we go. See, I already got a butter. We're chilling. It's just a kernel pull sometimes has the worst luck, and you can never get a butter. If it gets butter, it has about the same DPS as a cabbage pull. Although probably cabbage pull would have killed that sooner. Kernel Bolt's real, real synergy is with Planter, because now, it is two times more likely to just perma completely stall the zombies.
And the reason, again, why this is good is because now Colonel Paul ha fires way faster and every plant becomes significantly better. But especially Colonel Paul, because now it has a basically a two times more likelihood to fire butter within the same percentage, which can basically now just completely perma stall zombies. As you can see, it just completely perma stalls them. So even plant turn plus not a very good plant like Colonel Pole. Colonel Pole isn't that good to be honest. It really isn't that good. Colonel Pole really isn't that amazing. But just having two to three Colonel Poles is like insanely good now. Just ridiculously good in fact. In fact, it can even it's fun, funny, but it can even install letterheads like that, which is pretty damn hilarious, to be honest. I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna. This may seem like a waste to just power a single. Colonel Paul, but that is effectively my plan, is I'm just going to... And I still should have enough sun for insta-kills. And I can also like just plant more sunflowers here. They'll get more value. And now the shovel zombies are coming, but that is completely fine as we can now just perma stall with Colonel Pole. So this should be enough sun for the rest of the level. We're not going to need a whole lot for insta-kill, just a couple. And just a kind of trash plant like Colonel Paul. I mean, it's not garbage on its own. It's really, it's not horrible, but it's not a very good plant. With Planter, it just becomes ridiculously strong. I mean, look at this. This is three Colonel Poles Pro, and it's completely just dominating the zombies. They can't even break through. The DPS is still is not amazing, but it just perma stalls them with butter, which is just great. The zombies are barely moving. I can just, you know, jalapeno that ra that lane, freeze all the zombies real quick, just get a lot of valley, la la la, easy. Just also, you can also cherry bomb like that. And we got a cop cannon shot. Oh yeah, and also I forgot to mention, Colonel Bolt can actually lob a cop cannon shot, but it's only after they, um, uh... Yeah, as you can just... Oh, sorry. They lob a cop cannon shot if they don't fire butter 15 times, which is pretty unlikely. It's a about 1% chance, so it, it doesn't happen very often. But with Planter, and as you can see, it already happened twice. It can be pretty useful. Again, very unreliable, but it's possible for it to happen. Shovel zombies are very dangerous. They literally shovel up your plants. As you can probably see with the flower pot, they just shoveled it up. They didn't eat it. Nothing. They literally just... They quite literally just shovel your plants. Like so that's very dangerous. That's why defensive plants are pretty bad against them. Magnet Magnetrum should be able to steal their shovel, I hope. I hope it's not like a brutal God damn it. <laughs> See cop cannon shot it doesn't happen when you want it to, it just happens when the Colonel Pulse feel like doing it, so Yeep, and pretty easily, <laughs> another one, wow. So with plant turn, it does happen pretty often. I mean, how many already, what, five of them? Oh wait, this lane doesn't have, why does this lane not have one? 
Yeah, that lane should have a third kernel pulled. It didn't, but it still defended fine. It should, though. Now... Three lanes, three columns of kernel pulls, at all dealing double damage, because they're all being... Yeah, they're all, as you can see, being affected. Even this one, because this one, yeah. Even these two. All of them. If you have multiple planters, you should get more benefits, but I feel like the nudge would be completely... Completely ridiculous, to be honest. It's just straight up not fair. And then just straight up completely unfair, to be honest. How does Squ Squash just never ceases to amaze me? Squash is just so good. It's just one of the best plants in the game. For real. Squash is insane. Alright, now we have Coffee Bean. Which means that, yes, we can use all the mushrooms in the day, including... Doomstrom. Now we're going to be using this strategy for the rest of the game, and... Alright. So we are going to be using... So for this strategy, we're actually going to be using Magnet Shroom and Doom Shroom. Where is Magnet Shroom? Magnet Shroom and Doom Shroom. And Toll Nuts. Because hopefully, hopefully Magnet Shroom should steal the shovel in this Pogo Stick. If it doesn't because, you know, Brutal Mode EX plus logic, who the hell knows. But anyway. Should we even have any attackers on here? I don't even think so. So this is going to be our plan. Just complete stall, magnet shroom, and then insta kills. Let's see if it works. We could lose potentially, but you never know. Basically, just. Just doom shroom. We're just gonna be using doom shroom, magnet shroom, and a bunch of insta kills. Because come on, that's not really the only thing to do. The three flag level one roof with a crap ton of strong zombies. So I think that's the only thing that we really can do here, to be honest. I hope I- no, I did place the squash in the right lane. So again, with that jalapeno moment, that was a skill issue on my part. That was a complete skill issue, you know? Bruh, that, that's actually really- alright, I might even have to use Doomstrom already. I might have to use Doomstrom. Bruh. Fine, I guess I'll use Doomstrom. I guess I will use- yeah, because there's no way for me to defend this. Alright, time for Doomstrom then. Yoink! Easy claps. Why did only one spawn? Huh? Why did why did only one backup dancer spawn? What the hell? That's weird. That is quite strange. But anyway, I guess I will start setting up the tolnuts because Doom Sherman is still on cooldown. Sure. Sure, I guess. Yep, easy claps. Alright, now none of them spawn. I just don't understand why. That, that's so strange to me, how for some reason... Maybe I should have had less of a skill issue moment. And not placed it where I needed to place my tunnel, but you know. It's fine. It's fine. You know, quotation marks, it's fine. Yoink! Bop! And now three of them spawn! What's that logic with the backup dancer? I straight up don't understand it. What is that logic? 
with the backup dancer. And of course, does Magnet Storm work? No, I don't think it does, probably. Yeah, I don't think it does. I don't think it does work against football zombies. Let's go. Squash value. Crazy squash value. Insane squash value. Squash is the best plan in the game. Easy. Yep. Yeah, they don't work. It doesn't work on them. Uh... Okay, I need to collect more of the sun. Okay, man. <sighs> yes, okay. Okay, it the shovels are f okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, finally. My freaking god. Hopefully this is enough. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this will be enough. Okay, good. The magnet room actually does work, which is good. Alright, we should be doing fine here, I think.
Alright, so yeah, this is a bit of a boring strat for sure, but... So we have a lot of sun. Damn, just squash getting- Dude, squash is getting- the most valley I've ever seen, man. Like, it's just Squash. Squash is getting freaking insane valley, man. Just truly ridiculous. Huh? What the hell? Where's this football zombie invincible or something? I don't understand what's going on. No, 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 This is actually cringe by the- I know the strategy is completely cringe, but... How else are we supposed to beat this? Like, what other strategy in the game beats this, bro? But what other strategy in the game actually beats this? Besides for this- Besides for this Doom Shroom spam. Okay, hello. Alright, time for Doom Shroom. Yay, easy. Yoink. Get the hell out of here, man.
Alright, so yeah, we beat this level. After one of the most stupidest strategies ever seen in history. But hey! We ended up beating the level. And easy. Alright, we got now the Zen Garden, which nobody cares. Literally zero people care. And now it's time for 4-5. Oh, sorry, 5-4. Oh, sorry, five. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't speak right now. 5-5. Five, five. Freaking goodness. Time for level 5-5 five, five now. Alright, nope. Who cares about this? I want to play the games. Oh, I, I get some money, though. Pretty chillin'. No one cares about the Zen Garden, bro. Literally zero people care. Well, actually, a lot of people care, but I don't care. Do I really need to buy this? Can you at least give me money to buy it? Nope. All right, I gotta buy it. Yay. Okay, at least I get some of my money back. All right, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I don't understand what you're saying. Um. All right, it's this... This layer, the Chomper, Pumpkin, and Cherry Bomb conveyor level. Alright. This shouldn't be that difficult. Alright, if I could actually get some plants, that would be nice. Okay, I don't think... Well, I guess I'll have to use Cherry Bomb, probably. Fine, whatever. You, the game wants me to use Cherry Bomb, so I'll use Cherry Bomb. Bop. Should I say flower pots in case something stupid happens? Yeah, probably. Probably that wouldn't be a bad idea. What? How the- alright, I didn't meant to put it there, there was a misclick, but whatever. I guess that works as well. Yep, yeah, that's completely fair and balanced. The football zombie, how wonderful. You know, just how wonderful. How the heck does not register? That is complete nonsense. Okay. Nobody cares for real. Bruh. When can this just end already? Alright, thank you. Pumpkins also explode upon death. I didn't even tell you about that, but yep. They do. Easy, Bob. Bob. Okay, man. 
What is even going on? This is complete chaos. This is total and utter chaos. I don't even know what's happening. I don't, I don't even know what's happening. I can't plant anything? What is even happening? Like, what is even going on? This is just total... What the... Bro, I can't- this is- This is crazy! What the hell is even happening? This is a pretty easy level. Once, once again, once again. No, 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 no. Okay, you see how stupid I can't even do anything to prevent that. That's such idiocy, man. That is the stupidest thing that I've ever seen, bro. The most freaking dumbass thing. Still, it doesn't really matter, but that just goes to show how freaking. How absolutely stupid that even is. Okay, we're done here. And I guess that's it for Roof. It will be another half a section video because Fog was just extremely easy, whereas Roof is about to become really, really difficult. So I'm just gonna cut it off there. And I'll see you guys in 5 6 in the next video. Well, anyway, bye. See you.